Hey everybody, it's Bubs here. Welcome back to Spirit Tea. It is the 15th of summer, uh, midsummer. We've got lots of stuff we've got to get done. Uh, but before we get into it, let me quickly introduce what we are drinking today. A little bit of a cop out. Uh, it is the boozy version of the mocktail that I shared in the last round of episodes. It is a London Cloud. Uh, a London Cloud has an Earl Grey infused gin that also includes some um, star anise. So put a couple of those in there as part of the infusion. And then you mix in some vanilla simple syrup, lemon juice, and egg white for foam. Shake it up and you get a lovely, uh, fluffy, delicious London Cloud. Cheers. It's very tasty. You, um, you don't need to infuse the gin for too long. Like it doesn't need to infuse overnight. Uh, the longer you leave it, obviously the more of that Earl Grey flavor that you're gonna pick up. It is very loud rain, my goodness. Um, so, you know, leave it as long as you like. If you like a stronger Earl Grey, the Earl Grey flavor, then definitely put it in a little bit longer. I could probably have it infused this a little bit longer than I did. Um, and I could have thrown a little bit more of that star anise as well to kind of get that flavor out in front a little bit stronger. So what did we miss from last time? I need to double check here. I did do a bath update. I updated the bathhouse. It's in the midst of um, being updated now. I have to go check back uh, the Monday night with Eric, so we'll do that tonight. I've got an upgrade in the bathhouse going. I befriended someone else. I don't remember who I befriended. I befriended someone else with a bunch of karaoke, so now we've got full staff in the bathhouse, so we'll definitely run a day of that. Um, what else have we got going on? Oh, yes, I know. I uh, also created a cheat sheet for myself for the bathhouse. Um, I'll share that on the screen so you can see it. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, based on what I've learned so far. Oh yes, Quill is getting sprayed on the beach in the evenings. Um, someone else overnight, I think it's too late now, right? Her phone is going missing. We gotta look into that. So we're gonna do all that stuff. Yeah, lots to do. I've probably forgotten half of the information I wanted to share, but we'll, we'll slowly get through it. Uh, Kim, 2 a.m. So we'll do that tonight as well. Photographer, yeah, missing. Oh, this is a new one. We can talk to Faye. This, ah, yes, the painting. So there has been a patch update that addressed some issues with the painting guy whose name I can't remember. So I'm hoping that's why I haven't been able to do his spirit mission yet. So we're going to check that one out as well. Da, da, da. I'm just buying all the kind of food stuff that I can see. Uh, oh, kimchi. I needed kimchi. I just don't remember why I needed kimchi. For a recipe for one of the one of one of the shrines that's what it was so we got a lot to do uh i'm not sure if i'm not certain if uh faye is still working on upgrades perfect let's see what is up with faye and her missing hammers it wasn't me. Okay. So her hammers have gone missing. I should be better at knowing these people's names by now. I have no idea what her name is. 
I thought it was Leah. Obviously, it's not Leah. Faye. I mean, I had kind of the letters. Someone's taking Faye's hammer. That's all I get. Okay. I have $11,000. I don't think I can afford any more upgrades. Everything is really expensive now. <laughs> Overgrown stairs, we already did. Overgrown cooking area, we've done. I should... I should try and buy the bathhouse fridge, which I think I buy from here. Right? But it's not for sale. Okay, well, we need to make lots more money for the bathhouse as well. So, let's see. I am, so we have lots of things to do at night, right? Monday night, we have to go talk to this guy, Mackenzie. We have to see her at 2 a.m. Quills in the evening. Someone's going to Eric. We have to see Eric at night. So maybe let's, let's do a little bathhouse. Let's do it. I uh, forgot to open my cheat sheet before this recording, so I'm going to do my best to... Uh, remember off the top of my head and I can do a quick tour of the new upgrades that we've got going on. Let's just take a peek in here. Yes, I knew that there was a towel that I hadn't hung up. My garden is still doing its thing. I wish I could get more seeds. They're supposed to be pretty abundant with squirrels, but I'm not doing a very good job of actually getting them. I'll get a log in the fire and then I'll show you around upstairs. And again, we won't do a full day because we've got a lot of stuff to do in the afternoon. But right now, while it's raining, I think we can get some stuff done. So we got this is opened up. I don't think this was open last time I played. So look at this. There's another bath up here that I have to actually clear out. That's the pain. This is a fish pond. It's empty. I don't know how to get fish in it, but that's there. I cleaned up all this stuff. There's a statue, which I just noticed for the first time. Hello. Monk statue. I just noticed that for the first time. Um, there are these things that still gotta open up. Lots of stuff. So, and then this thing, which again, don't know what it is. I don't know if it's another situation like uh, my my garden, but that is what we've got going on. So very exciting stuff. Lots to do. Let's make some more money because it's going to be very expensive upgrading this place now. And uh, I will say I still haven't fully figured out the happiness of the spirits. So and we can talk about that while I'm running this, but... So yeah, oh yeah, Ling. Ling now works here. She is the uh, the spirit scrubber. She's in charge of scrubbing the spirits down. Okay, our big bird. So this bird, I believe, is summer. This is a summer bird. Uh, the spring and the summer spirits, I tend to always confuse. And same with the winter and the fall. So this is the part that gets confusing. Here on the bottom right-hand side, it looks like if the spirits are next to other spirits, they're sad. But also, if the spirits are next to spirits that they, uh, like, are, you know, not across from each other, but like spring and summer, they're happy. So I think there has to be like a balance between putting spirits next to each other without totally surrounding the spirits. See, it's like these two are happy now, but I wouldn't want to put a spirit on this side of him as well, because then he's crowded. He doesn't like that. I think that's what that means. Oh, I think this guy is winter. He's winter or fall. I really wish I brought my cheat sheet. This guy's definitely winter. The sushi. Or, yeah, the sushi, uh, sushi spirit. Look at him. 
He's got a straight up salmon sushi. Uh, okay. I gotta put him here as a winter. She's doing a great job with the scrubbing. She brought her own brush. She doesn't use the broom like me. That's a big win. Okay, this guy. The summer. I'm actually going to put him here. Because then I can put fall on one side and spring on the other. Summer. See, like, if I put this guy here, is that going to make the birdie upset? I don't know. So I think we decided that this guy's in fact a fall. So he's got to be fall because this guy's winter for sure. So I could have put him in here. Here. And he would have been super happy. I don't think he fits there though. Oh. This guy is a winter. And he's a... He's kind of a jerk. Because he... His, his little babies like spread out and take up more space in the bath very uncool this guy is fall I believe and I like to put him in here because for some reason he doesn't seem to mind those guys that like goober in the baths I think because he's also gross because he picks his nose so he's okay with the with the goober boys So like if I do this, and then I put a goober boy there, and another one there, that should work. Can I? No. Okay, so he's, it's fall. I was right. Another one of these guys. Can I put him in here with these guys? That's fine. Oh, what a, what a pain. Okay, let me go cut a log out. Oh, maybe not yet. This guy's fall as well. So I could put him in here. Oh, these babies. I still haven't figured out too if the singing chickens make everyone happy or if they get annoyed by the singing. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, the singing. Something else I have to figure out. This guy is Summer. So I'm gonna put him in here. See, that guy's sad now. Like, is it because he doesn't want to be in a tub with his own kind? I don't know. And eventually, I think there's more characteristics to them about like what they like and what they don't like uh, on their spirit sheets. Like, you know, do they like to be in a bigger space? Do they like to be close to certain, um, like do they like to be near other ones or far apart? I want to say that's all detailed. So hopefully as I find more tones, that information will become apparent. Because this I don't totally understand. Like, if I go... Oh, no. Spirits. I don't think I have details on a single spirit that I've unlocked already, though. Like, I haven't seen this guy yet. Regular baiting behavior. Favorite food is shrimp salad. Yeah. Doesn't really say much. So, I guess not. It's kind of a pain. And that big bath at the top, they, I think it's called the Lord's Bath, and there are like spirit lords. I've unlocked one of the cards for one of them, and I think I've actually unlocked the one of the... Oh, I got no room for him. I don't think I can fit him in here. 
Also, he'll make a mess of the tub. Yeah, he doesn't fit. Okay. Can't come in. Nope. Me either. None for you. Okay, this guy is fall. I always want to say he's winter, but he's he's fall. He's fall. Yeah, so there's a and then the Lord comes. Now I don't know. I'm gonna to check. Keep pausing. I don't know what it means for the Lord spirits, like if Oh, I have this girl. Yeah. See, this is, this one's a lord. I don't know if it, like, if they do anything for all the fall, like if all the fall spirits are happy that the fall lord is bathing as well. We won't really find out until we get that bath opened up, but it's, uh, it's expensive. I think it's like a hundred, a hundred thousand, no, a hundred thousand? It's a lot. Whatever it is. Fall. Fall? Yeah, he's happy. Fall. Oh, spring. She's spring. Put her here. Spring and summer. I think I'm going to close up the bathhouse soon. Because it's going to be evening time. We got a lot of stuff we got to take care of. I'm just gonna keep cutting some wood here for the pockets. Oh, level up. Like, I'm hoping that as I keep playing, um, more roles will open up for friends because this place is massive and it would be it would be very difficult to deal with all the spirits if I uh, if I can't have more than four helpers like I want the whole town working in here this doesn't like do I have to put a fish in there I don't know we could try I have fish in here put like a, a bluegill nope <laughs> that didn't work yeah I was pushing the right button it didn't work I forgot why I came down. This is the first time I've actually really paid attention to the artwork in here. I always knew that there was a dragon, but like all of these little statues of like people, I never noticed that before. It's pretty cool. So the reason I'm doing this is because when I close the bathhouse, these jerks who are holding towels, they don't put them back. They just drop them on the ground. So I try to put as many away as I can. Okay. I should check on that recipe I have to make. While these 
boys are finishing up their baths. It was... No. Shoy flavored deep fried squid, spicy kimchi stew. I think it was spicy kimchi stew. We need kimchi, garlic, and pork. Kimchi. Garlic. Oh, the pork is in my fridge. No. Oh god, okay. One, two. This guy's gotta get out of here. I wish there was a way to just say like we are not taking any new spirits, but we'll finish up the spirits that we got. Who's left? We've got one. We've got I swear, if you're sitting here and there are towels in there, wow. Because the heat turned off, even though they still dry. The lazy bones. We're fine. We don't need to put a new log in. Although, I guess I. Okay. I will put in a new log. Just because I have a lot. And because that way she'll keep doing the laundry and I don't have to. Get back to work. It's too bad that like the bathhouse days are so long. It's basically an entire episode. Which I'm sure is not the most entertaining thing in the world, but um, uh, these guys are almost done. How are things looking in here, folks? Good work. left. She's almost done. Ah! What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Close that up. I quickly finish up my yeah, like, how rude. Just leave her towel there. God. Okay. Let's go check out some spirits. And I'll have to add them to my cheat sheet. The massive pile. Ooh. Can't forget the most important part. Hey, that wasn't a lot, but it wasn't a full day, so. And now it might be too late into the evening now to check out to check out the beach. It's 10 p.m. Okay, let's go see Eric. on the third floor, right? I seem to think so. No. Oh, no. 
This is it. No, this is Toby. Thanks, Toby. You're the one who wouldn't get out of bed before. Duder. Okay. He's not able to sleep at night. So obviously his place is haunted. We're gonna have to check it out. And he goes to bed tonight. It's probably too early. And then the lady next door, 2 a.m., someone comes and steals her phone. No! Stop that! I'm not feeling tired. We've got things to do. Yeah, 10 p.m. Do I have any food to eat for when I start getting... No. Oh, yeah, I have the stinker statue too. You can't, you can't do that. Wonder if I need to have my camera ready. Take a picture. Ah. Oh, that's right, the use button. I didn't try the use button on uh, the fish pond. Chemist 2 a.m. I don't know. Now feeling exhausted. What, am I supposed to do this with my pee? The creeper isn't there anymore. Oh, okay. That doesn't sound like a good idea. I should come with you. On your way to meet a stalker. Come on, Eric. Not much time. I'm gonna pass out. Oh, he's a spirit. Oh. Can't wait to see what this spirit looks like. What if I give them a picture of Eric? I mean, it wasn't a very good picture, but we can try. Don't think of him. I, I, I took a picture of him. Look at that. It's a beautiful picture. Take one like this too. Very dark. Do I have the picture in my inventory? No, okay. I mean, that's definitely what I have to do. I'm just gotta figure out how to do it. Telling me that a picture isn't the way. Something to remember Eric by. I had a picture of him. That's more than enough. 
Let's go creep in his bedroom and see if I can find something. But let's first check and see what's in the shop. Oh, it's lunchtime? Guys. Oh yeah, I could go check on the... Uh, see if our artist is working. Oh. I don't even know if he's... He's going there. Let's see if we can get some details. No? Sir. I want to know what's up. It has to be sunset. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this, that one, but I, I'm certain I figured it out. All right, they're eating lunch. What a pain. Okay, let's go creep Eric's bedroom, see if I can steal anything to give the spirit. Eric? Let me uh, take another picture of you here. Great, it's a great picture. Is we something creepy from his bathroom? Okay, we can try that. Oh. Did she say something about toothbrush? Did I miss that comment? Hmm. Well either way. We're gonna wrap up today's episode, so I'm gonna wrap. Up, I'm gonna wrap up this episode. I won't wrap up today. We'll come back today in the next episode. Uh, until then, thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.